And I said, yeah, they both suck. And that was basically it. And that, and that was it. Like we didn't talk about anything to do with them. And I knew people would think that, but I was like, I, I did I enjoy had better things bit? to do. Melissa, did I enjoy a little bit that Melissa was going to squirm not knowing this? Yeah. I talked about stuff that she would tell me. I mean, yeah, of course, like, you know, I enjoyed her yeah. squirming a little bit, but that wasn't, you know, it wasn't about that. It was about, you know, like my husband said, you know, cause she reached out. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, Chris, I, you know, and he's like, <laughs> Chris is like, I think you should sit down. It's been a long time. I think you guys should sit down. You guys had a friendship before the show. You're done with the show now. You know, it, you're, it, it's a different phase in your life. Like why not? Why have enemies? Why, you know? So I, I agree to sit with her. And honestly, it was like no time had passed. Beautiful. I saw her, I didn't know how I was going to feel. We hugged each other. She sat down next to me and we just started talking right away. And we were talking about our sons. We were talking about autism and different things with that relating to that. Um, we talked about um, Louie, you know, I was trying to get to know him. We we're asking him questions. He was lovely. Um, I wasn't expecting that because, you know, I, you know, I'd heard things, but I also yeah. don't judge people until I meet them myself. So I gave yeah. him the best of the doubt. I loved him. He was the, the kind, like very positive, upbeat, very nice. And, you know, it's my first time meeting him. He was very, very lovely. And he told me, you know, Teresa has been wanting to for months reach out to you. Uh, and I think, he, I think he did help encourage her to, mm -hmm. to, to get the courage to do it. And I'm so glad okay. I did because we picked up like no time. Like we literally were talking. My husband goes, do you realize we've been here five hours? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's crazy. What? Unbelievable. Like, job. What? I had no idea that much time had passed. Did you ever think you would hear I, from Teresa again? Like, did you ever think this would truly happen? No, because she's not the type to like make the move. She was putting it out there, maybe hoping I would reach out, but like mm -hmm. I had already removed myself from all that. So I wasn't going to like re-engage it again. I did get a call from her once she was in Vegas for something. Cause I saw her picture. She was in Vegas. She called me and I saw it ringing and I didn't answer it. Cause I got like, I don't think Nervous. I'm ready for this. Like yeah. when I first, when I first moved out here, I think it was. Um, how, how long ago was that? Like years ago, I was, I've been here four years. So it was probably the first year I moved here. She, but I don't know if it, I am like, maybe it was a butt dial. Cause why would she call me? Like I, I thought it was, a yeah. butt dial. I, I didn't even ask her about it. So I don't, I still don't know. That's and, funny. And there was no voicemail left. Like the phone just no rang. Voicemail, like voicemail, nothing. No voicemail, no text, nothing. Wow. Wow. So wow. maybe, so maybe Teresa butt dialed you, or maybe she was looking for dial. you four years ago. But what I saw was she was with one of our old producers at one of the pools. So maybe he took her phone and did it. I don't know. Oh, don't know maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. What did any part of you, you know, once Chris said, I think you should go and it was a seven year friendship. Like, were you, did any part of you think you shouldn't go? And were you nervous? Like, I would be so nervous. Like, you know, I'm not scared of people, but like, you know, when you have a lot of history with someone to go and how to meet them. I wasn't nervous. I can't explain it. I was more, I was, I feel like I was a little more excited to like, and curious, like, what is she going to say? Like, what is this about? Yeah. Like, you know, it was more curiosity for me than nervous. And I was like excited to see her. Cause I was like, yeah. this sounds, fr this sounds friendly. So I'm like, what, what's going on? Like, and in my head, I was like, does she have another motive but then when I sat with her, she didn't have another motive. There, it wasn't about Melissa. It wasn't about, you know, other things. So I was like, huh, this is like genuine. This, and it, it really felt genuine. It wasn't about anything. It wasn't like, I need you to do this for me or that for me. Or it wasn't like that at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe that. I believe that. So, I believe a lot of this is genuine. She said that she, um, I saw her in another interview recently and she said that the, wherever, whoever, whatever therapist she's going to and her sister-in-law's forgivity, it really yeah. is helping her. You know, it really yeah, is. She really enjoys it, right? She's loving it. And I yeah. think she's forgiving. She's, she's owning, and she might not say it to you, Jacqueline, and she might not say it to other people, but she's owning her own shit and saying, you know what? I did stuff too. And I miss Jacqueline or I miss this one. So why not? You know, and they're teaching her how to forgive. Yeah. They're teaching her how yeah. to let yeah. things go. Yes. And I think they're also teaching her to the people that are toxic in your life that you can't fix, you know, nope. let those people go. 
Like I think her exactly. brother and Melissa have hurt her so bad and have done yep. so much that she's, it's hard for her. Like she needs to step away from that for a little while and yeah. just like be surround herself with people that she feels like, you know, will be good for her. Yeah. And, you, are, and, are, and are genuine and are genuine. Do you think, yeah. do you think, cause like, look, we could all l- 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 hear about a situation and until you walk in someone else's shoes, you don't really understand it. Like, do you think now that she does have like a stepson, Nicholas, that, you know, has like special needs and autism, like that has got to be like, do you think that helped you know, like she must have a different yeah, empathy think, for you and what yeah. you were going through and yes, are going through. We did say that. Yep. She said that to me. Nice. So that's nice. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Yeah. What else so, you got for us, David? Well, where do you guys go now? Like, are you now talking? Like, is it like an every day? Do you guys text? Like what happens now? We, everyone's talking about this meeting. Yeah. Um, so now we keep in touch. We do text. Well, we've talked on the phone a few times. Um, you know, she called me when she had her stepson in the car. She was on her way to pick up her daughter from dance class. We just talked the whole way there and back. And it's like kind of picked. And actually, our husbands are getting together very soon. They're going to go golfing together and they're going to go That's see great. a UFC fight together. And, um, and she's, you know, she's on vacation. And uh, yeah, her husband will be here. And actually, his older son and my older son will meet too. They're going to, the wow. four of them are going golfing. That's so, great. Yeah. We just sort of like, you know, we keep in touch now and that's good. That's it. And know, this is happen- t- and this huh? is happening in Vegas, like your older son and his older son. And when he comes to visit you and Chris, they're all going to go play golf. He's coming soon. And, and yeah, my husband, the husbands and the sons are going to go golfing together and then they're going to a USC fight. Look, I have a pumpkin smile. I'm so, look at my, look at, I, <laughs> I, I, love, I love when the it's hard to find couples where like you get along with both the husband and, right. and the wife, you know, they, everybody mash, meshes. So it was nice. And honestly, we probably would have had more, th- more than a five hour lunch because what happened was they had to go to go to dinner because dinner. they were meeting their friends for dinner and a concert. So they oh had to my leave God. us to go to them. Otherwise we probably would have stayed all night. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, that's so cute. That is so cute that the boy, his son is adorable. His son's yeah. really, really cute. He's really cute, yeah. right? He's cute, They're David. Both yeah, both of his sons are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, it, is everything reset now? Because, you know, like, if you look at, like, fans and, you know, everyone online has a comment. Everyone's like, Jacqueline, beware, beware. We're worried for you. Like, you know, like you said, it's very authentic. But, like, is it really reset? Like, you have no reservations? Like, you know, it's let's pick up where we left off. Yeah. At first, you know, I was, like, thinking, like, what is this going to be when I met her? I didn't really know, but I felt it being genuine and I feel it being genuine now. And, you know, and I don't feel like it's an act. I don't know what she would gain from it. There's nothing no, that she's definitely not. Jacqueline, so definitely I just not. think it was just like enough time had passed and it is sad the way our friendship ended. And, you know, but now it, I think if I was coming back to the show or on the show, it would be very hard because people would be like yes. dissecting it and it would pull 